Hi Church, welcome back to day three of our devotional series, Fearlessly Devoted. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church, and I'm just talking to you about some characteristics of Jesus and this audacious life and looking at the thought of being fearlessly devoted. Acts 2 verse 42 says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Yesterday we looked at what it was to be devoted, loving, loyal and faithful. But what is it to be fearless? How can you not be afraid at all or scared of anything? I like to think that I'm not scared of much. Maybe it's a false sense of security or just an overinflated ego. Who knows? One thing I do know though is that I'm scared of the sea. Not swimming in it or going near it. If you came near me with a glass of seawater, I wouldn't run away hysterically. I'm not going to run away hysterically in fear at that. No, what I mean is the idea of getting out of my depth or caught in a current. The sea is a force of nature, beautiful and unpredictable, and I feel like a mere dot to it. This year on holiday, I was swimming in the sea with a friend who will remain nameless, but he knows who he is. He is an extremely strong swimmer. His kids are too. My kids are also, but I am not. We went out snorkels in hand and we swam around a cove into the great unknown the rocks where we were swimming to seemed miles away and i started to panic everyone else was fine but thoughts of dread filled my mind it was in my head if one of my kids gets in trouble i can't save myself let alone them my panic started to zap my energy my legs and arms felt like dead weights my friend was happily swimming along like aquaman unaware of my plight and I actually thought I was going to drown. I was saying nothing because pride was killing me. Then my youngest swam up alongside me and said, you okay dad? I shook my head and he said, it's okay just lie on your back and rest because we're nearly there. All my days I thought he's 10 and fearless. As I turned over onto my back and rested floating on the sea, I realized that the waves weren't actually that bad and the wind was quite mild. I also realized that the others were really close. Justin was right next to me. And all the panic I had created was in my head. I had allowed my thoughts to run wild. I had also realized one thing. My sons were confident, almost fearless because they were with their dad now i know what you're thinking you were drowning and it's true that i thought i was but they had no idea their confidence was in who they knew i was and believed me to be and my love for them their confidence also came from who they were surrounded by great friends and others to look look up to on their own it would be an entirely different story i've realized since then that we can be fearless because of who we know and who we are surrounded by. We can be fearless. We, we know and are known by God, our Father, the maker of heaven and earth, the commander of angel armies. The, we can be fearless because his word says, no weapon formed us against us shall prosper. And we are the head and not the tail and the gates of hell shall not prevail. We are truly more than conquerors. You are all these things. So today, take a moment to think, I am fearless because of who I know, because I'm known and because I'm part of a community of believers, family, friends, brothers, sisters, people who can, who can look up to, who I can look up to and rely upon and who look up to me. If you haven't already joined a small group church, make sure you do so that you're surrounded by great people. And know this, that you can be fearlessly devoted. Love you, church. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow for part four of our devotional series.